All new at 5.30, doctors with Advent Health are sharing their insight on those so-called COVID-19 long haulers. Yeah, now those are people who are still experiencing symptoms weeks and even months after testing positive. News 6's Jerry Askin is live in studio tonight. And Jerry, what recommendations do doctors have for these people when it comes to a vaccine? Ginger, well, doctors today we spoke with still are advising these patients to get the COVID-19 vaccine since studies show that some patients Get, got better afterwards. I spoke to a mom today in Orlando who is a long hauler and told me she's had severe pain since her infection, though she's tried almost everything, including getting the vaccine. This virus has completely changed my life. Um, it was like I went to bed healthy and woke up uh, with in somebody else's body. 34 year old Rachel Caputo still can't believe her COVID-19 infection last summer would leave her in suffering still. I was infected in June of 2020, so we'll be approaching a year very soon. And you're still having symptoms? Yes. She is what doctors call a long hauler, someone who's had COVID-19 but has symptoms weeks or months later. She told me her family has truly been her support system after almost a daily cycle of memory loss, joint pain, fatigue, and so much more. My blood work has always been perfect. I have always taken very good care of my body, and this really could happen to anybody. And turns out even doctors have questions about it, too. Why do some people get so sick and some don't? I, I think that's something that none of us quite understand. Dr. Cynthia Grees is the medical director of Advent Health's lung transplant program. She answered questions today regarding long haulers and said these patients may also experience things like survivor's guilt, depression, mental health issues, and more. She also encouraged them to get the vaccine still, but to wait three months post-COVID. There are some people that reported getting the vaccine actually helped them feel better. Meantime, Dr. Dexter Hadley from UCF's College of Medicine is now doing research and recruiting COVID-19 patients who were hospitalized to better understand how COVID impacts the lungs using x-rays. We have to have patients at the end of our data. We have to have real data coming in and have informed consent. And that is really what is missing. And I posted more about his research and ways to get involved now at clickorlando.com. As for Rachel Caputo, she told me she recently got the vaccine, though she still has regular pain. She joined a group from California to analyze her blood, hoping to give her more answers. We're hoping the best for her. Live, Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6. Yeah.